and uh, that was one thing that I, I look back on and think that, you know, I wish maybe he could have been with people his own age more, but everybody that was in the music business was older than him, and he just had to be with them, and he just seemed like he grew up so fast. This was Keith's room, and he loved it so much. Of course, it was quite different when he was here. He had more guitars and things in here, but this is a guitar that he brought me, and uh, he said, don't forget how to play and keep this until I call for it. So it was very important to him, and he used it on a lot of his records. And it had been uh, to a couple of trips to Japan. And that's a picture of one of his heroes there. Elvis was one of his heroes. He loved him very much. Every morning, I'd knock on his door, and I'd say, you ready for your coffee? I'd bring his coffee to him. And at night, if he was real, if he'd come in and he was real tired, I always massaged his shoulders till he went to sleep. But if he come in and I was asleep, he always come to my room to let me know he was home. And if he thought I was asleep, he'd pinch my toe. <laughs> I'm home, Mom. 